Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm down in Southern California near Universal City. Uh, I'm gonna be driving my 2021 Model S long range version from uh, LA here all the way up to Pleasanton, California. So on a map um, with a regular ice car, it says it's gonna be about six and a half hours. With this, it should, be, it should only take me about maybe 30 minutes more because I do need to stop at a charger. So this is gonna be a quick road trip. Uh, come along for the ride. And uh, it should be pretty exciting to see what kind of I encounter here. It's a nice day today. It's uh, let's see, about 75 degrees down here in LA. I think uh, it's probably about low, low 70s up in Pleasanton, up in the Bay Area. So it should be a nice trip. Uh, sun's out, car's doing well. Let's take a quick view at the car. All right, so you can see the car's looking really good. I was able to wash the uh, windshield. Um, uh, keep in mind that we did start this road trip off driving from Pleasanton to Las Vegas and now uh, and then from Las Vegas over to the Burbank area. I had a couple meetings, spent the night here, and now I'm driving from L.A. near Universal City all the way up to Pleasanton. So not too many uh, bugs on the car, a few obviously, but not too many. Uh, tires are doing well, as you guys know from my past videos. I did have a couple um, tire issues, uh, blowout back in November, but car's doing really well. Um, tires are all doing well. Of course, I'm checking uh, the pressure to make sure it's okay, but overall, the car's great, looking good. It's been handling the road trip like a champ. Um, I hope you guys are also enjoying the time lapse I do because I am leaving the time lapse on almost the entire time, uh, which is kind of exciting to see the fact that I can drive from Pleasanton all the way to Las Vegas, which was about nine and a half hours with supercharging. And then the entire time lapse video was about less than two minutes, which was kind of exciting to see. So I'm gonna do that again in this video so you'll be able to see the entire time lapse here from Universal City all the way up to Pleasanton. And uh, of course I'll do some uh, clips about charging, uh, any of the superchargers, and then of course uh, uh, any, any, any stops I need to make and just how the overall car is handling it. I've been using autopilot quite a bit. Uh, I really enjoy autopilot. Um, and as you guys know, the autopilot will kind of default 15 miles over the speed limit. So if the speed limit's 70, I'll kind of run with autopilot about 85 miles an hour. Uh, but overall, it's, uh, it's been a champ. So great car for road trips, uh, if you guys were wondering about that. And the superchargers are very, very reliable. Uh, they do feel like they've been considerably more busy lately, though, I'll tell you that. Um, this is the first road trip I've done in a while. And if you guys have watched my channel, you'll know I do a lot of little road trips, about three or four a year. Um, but this is the first road trip where I've had to wait uh, a few minutes, not long. I had to, the other day I had to wait about three minutes to get on a charger, so that's not too bad. Um, but they usually all work. Uh, Tesla superchargers never really break down that I've seen. Of course, now that I've said that, you never know what's going to happen. But overall, it's been very, very reliable. Uh, no real complaints about that. But they are getting busier. So just something to keep an eye on. And especially now that Tesla is opening up their superchargers to Ford and GM, uh, my concern it is going to get a lot busier. But hopefully Elon continues to deploy more superchargers. So anyways, let's get this road trip started. It is about 12 o'clock according to the, um, the uh, system, the GPS system. It says we're going to get home around 6 p.m. So let's see how well that is. That does uh, have us charged twice all the way up. Um, I think we could probably make it in one charge, but um, I think overall the car is just being a little bit conservative and it does have us uh, stopping twice. So let's get the ball going here. Just pulled over here at Harris Ranch, our first charging here on our road trip back from uh, LA all the way up to uh, Pleasanton. So hopefully you've been following along in the time lapse and everything. I know it's pretty quick uh, to see how far we just drove about two and a half hours. But anyways, here now about a hundred miles on the battery. It is quite warm out here, uh, 86 degrees. 
Um, we are not at a very fast charger, so any of you guys that have been to Harris Ranch, uh, you know that it's only 150 kilowatts. It's full, full. I'll show you a clip here in a second, but totally full with, with Teslas. And uh, we're only getting 74 kilowatts. Looks like we need 35 minutes to kind of continue our trip. Uh, so we're going to get this going. I'm going to try to grab some something to eat. Oh, look at the charge rate. Uh, it's actually 45 cents a kilowatt. That's that's pretty expensive. So um, normally, I think the lowest I've, I've seen is 17 cents. On average, you tend to see anything from 24 to, to 37 uh, cents a kilowatt. 45 is pretty high. So that's kind of interesting. When I was in Las Vegas, I don't know if it was because it's Nevada, but um, overall, if any of you know, please put the comments below. But in Las Vegas, I was seeing 17 or 18 cents. So that was, that was pretty impressive. Anyways, we're going to grab some food here and then uh, come back. I'll give you guys another little clip here on the end of the charging and uh, we'll get rolling. Thank you. Here you go. So Harris Ranch supercharger here. See, it's pretty darn full. One, two spots open. But yeah, yeah, this is pretty full. This is why I'm getting such a low kilowatt per hour charging right now. It looks like there's a total of three spots open um, at this entire area. So anyways, not sure if you guys ever come here uh, on your road trips. One thing I just learned is, so this place is pretty unique. There's a uh, really, you know, pretty nice indoor restaurant. Uh, you can get a beer and sit down restaurant. Um, they I think they do a lot of um, uh, fresh meat out here and everything because they were they were selling almost like a butcher, but I think they also make uh, sandwiches and steaks. It's a steak restaurant kind of thing, so you can sit down and really enjoy a good meal here uh, if you want to. As far as a road trip, you know, coming from the Bay Area down to LA, so something something kind of interesting to know about there. And then one of the things I just learned is there's a Shell station over here, and apparently inside of that market in the Shell station, they also have a deli, and they serve uh, pre-made barbecue and everything. So what they were telling me is that they actually will make a sandwich there for you if you just want something simpler. You don't want to sit down at the restaurant. You just want to get a sandwich and a bag of chips and a soda or something which is really what I'm gonna do because I want to keep the road trip going I can just eat in the car it's a little bit easier I don't really want to sit down and get a full steak or even a sandwich in the restaurant it's just gonna take you know too long I don't want to sit there for 45 minutes and do that and it's a little bit simpler to do this probably it'll be it'll be probably less expensive as well so anyways just wanted you guys to know in case you're doing any uh any road trips and going this way, you'll you'll definitely see what's available at each road trip. It's something I'm trying to put more in my videos so people can kind of understand what's available at each supercharger. And again, you know, I'm, I am concerned about these superchargers getting too busy, especially now that they've opened this up to uh, multiple different um, cars. Uh, oh boy, look at that red liner around the rims there of that uh, Model Y, that's kind of interesting. I'm not sure I like that entirely, but uh, interesting there to kind of see what they've done. So anyways, uh, this is Harris Ranch. Okay, I just came back into the car and you can see we're about 10 minutes away, but one of the things is, look at that, jumped all the way up to 124. So we are only at, what was it, 74, 75 kilowatts. Now we're at 124. And that is mainly because there's no car on my left and there's no car on my right. So whenever you go to a supercharger, always try to alternate the parking um, and that's gonna help you out quite a bit. So it, the charge rate just went up significantly. So that's really nice to see. So overall, just another helpful hint to point things out like that. So right now, once we get done here, it looks like we're gonna have about two hours and 11 minutes to drive all the way to Pleasanton. So it's about 149 miles, so not too bad at all. Should get there around 5.30 or so. I'm, I basically told my wife about six o'clock. So uh, overall, 
pretty good trip so far no problems at all the car the car is getting quite a few bugs on the front of it so we'll definitely have to to wash that car uh either when i get home or we'll wash it tomorrow or or on the weekend we'll see okay i think we have enough battery here to get started uh let's go ahead and uh get this road trip going again get home been away for about four days uh, just as a reminder to everyone, so I set off leaving Pleasanton, driving directly to Las Vegas. Took about nine and a half hours, was supercharging. Was there for two nights, three days. Left there, then drove uh, from Vegas over to Burbank. Had a meeting there. Then that evening after dinner, drove over to Universal City, which was not far at all. Had a meeting there this morning, and now I'm on the road going back up to uh, Pleasanton. So let's see how we did on the charging here. So overall, we are ready to continue. We have 294 miles on the battery. Um, we have about 149 miles to drive. That's about two hours and 16 minutes if we're driving the speed limit. And that's 149 miles. We should have 30% of the battery left when we get there. You can see on the map, we're here. We're going all the way up there into the Bay Area. We may, ah, I think we're going to avoid the traffic because uh, we are going to be getting in around 5.52 p.m. Uh, as you can see here with about 30% left on the battery. Let's see what we uh, got charged here. So charging, this last charge here was $24.74. Again, I thought that was slightly high. Uh, but the one thing that's kind of cool is the food options here. Um, so it's a good place to stop if you are coming down from the Bay Area down to L.A. Or you're going to L.A. up to the Bay Area. So Harris Ranch is a very well-known area for supercharging. Anyways, let's get back on the road. And uh, we'll certainly do a few more updates. And you will get that awesome time lapse as well. Here we go. Okay, just pulled into the driveway and the car did a great job. We only had that one charge from Universal City in LA all the way up to uh, Pleasanton. We only had to charge that one at, uh, you guys saw it, at Harris Ranch. So, a uh, bit of bugs. So, total road trip, never washed the front bumper, only washed the windshield. So, yeah, a bit, bit of bugs. We're going to get those soaked off here real quick. I don't like to leave those on the paint too long. Uh, but overall, car did wonderful. Um, one of the questions I asked at the very beginning road trip video that you guys saw in the first video, I'll put the link uh, down below at the end here, but um, was how busy are the superchargers getting? And um, how many other non-Tesla cars are parked there? Well, the conclusion on that is the uh, chargers are definitely, definitely more busy. Um, also, um, did not see any other types of cars at any of the superchargers I went to. Um, and again, as a reminder, the road trip started here in Pleasanton, California, went all the way down to Las Vegas, about nine and a half hours, then spent two nights there, about three days, then drove over to Burbank, about four and a half hours with charging, got to Burbank, um, then we uh, spent a night there, left LA Universal City this morning, and then got here um, about five and a half hours, six hours total, one charge. Uh, so hit multiple different uh, superchargers. But again, overall conclusion is they are quite a bit busy. I did have to wait uh, at one supercharger. The other ones didn't have to wait, but they were probably 80, 90% busy. Whereas before, like a year ago, usually 50% busy or even 30%. Uh, 
so there's always room now definitely busier i am a bit nervous when they do add in ford and gm and how busy they're going to be with that so we'll have to wait and see but overall great road trip always love enjoy this uh car love the ability to stream audio um directly in the interface or listen to music um, I've been listening to a lot more podcasts and things like that on my road trips. So just love that. Uh, what do you guys love to listen to on your road trips? Let me know down below. It's always fun to kind of compare. So anyways, that's the road trip. I want to thank you guys all for joining me. Uh, if you haven't liked the video, please like the video. Uh, it always helps in uh, the YouTube search algorithms. And uh, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Otherwise, always open to hearing comments or any ideas for new videos. Please feel free to do that. And another question for everyone is, um, this car is a leased car and it is gonna be due up in about a year. So I do need to start really thinking about what is gonna be in the next EVs. Definitely gonna be an EV. Uh, right now, leaning towards another Tesla, but haven't decided yet if it's a Model S or maybe a Y maybe the new three when it when it does get uh remodeled with the facelift coming up that a lot of rumors are out there about so we'll see um but there's also a number of other exciting evs out there as well um so i'm going to look at a few of those not sure if they're quite ready yet tesla still has the best um kilowatt per dollar i think they do the best economies when it comes to the battery and the miles you get out of the car so um, overall, we'll have to see how we do and what we do. But um, if you guys have any preferences or any comments, if you yourself have bought one of the new electric cars that you really like a lot, let me know. We'd love to hear about it.